Speaking of MLK Day, Dr. King's daughter, Dr. Bernice King, wasn't here for Jonathan Majors comparing Megan Good to her late mother, Coretta Scott King. Dr. Bernice tweeted, my mother wasn't a prop. Oh, He's advocate before she met my father and she was instrumental in him speaking out against the Vietnam War. Please understand my mama was a force. Uh, the King family is tired of people playing in their faces, using the King name whenever they want to make a point. And I agree with them 1000%. Watch your mouth with the King name in it. Al, what do you think? You're having a reaction to this. What do you thought? Wait a minute. She said a prop, Flame and Claudia. Did y'all see that? She said a prop. Dang. Oh my God. This has got to be, this has got to be one of the most embarrassing moments. <laughs> in entertainment history. Jeez, what a read. What a read without reading. You know, I mean, what else can we say? We feel exactly the same way that Bernice feels, if anybody understands the effect and the significant contribution that Coretta Scott King has had on this country. And the sad part to me, Claudia and Flame, is that when he said it, the way he said it and the way that smirk on his face, he really thought that it landed. In that interview, he really thought that it landed that, oh, I met my Coretta Scott King. I, I don't know what to say. I think this just speaks volumes maybe to how disconnected Jonathan Major may be to the culture. And maybe it was that disconnect to the culture which has led him in this turmoil that he's in now. I mean, he clearly does not understand what the representation of Coretta Scott King means to the rest of the country and especially in the black community. So I don't know, I'm glad she got them together. And I support her 110% because for some reason, I don't know why, Jonathan, it doesn't appear he has black people on his staff, a part of his management, a part of his PR team, or even any black friends, because all of them would have told him that was completely 110% something you should stay away with on a national interview. Blame, go ahead. I, know you I don't know if I agree with the way you set that up, Al. I understand where you're coming from, but I think the analogy was that he wanted a woman as strong and as powerful and as committed as Coretta Scott King, he met that woman. I don't know if he meant that Megan Good was going to be in, walking in the same shoes as Coretta Scott King, just somebody who was going to stand by his side in a time of crisis. Because, you know, Coretta stood by Martin through all the rumors and all the BS. She was the force and the strength to held him up. So I think in that regard, that's what he meant. But I do understand what you're saying. Dude, don't do that. But Jonathan is cool with me. He's my friend. But first of all, let me say, this Bernice King must have been raised around some gay folks because, baby, that was a read if I ever heard one. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> Jonathan Majors is tone deaf. Um, Jonathan, yeah. like, please stop. I feel like a lot of black people were rocking with you because it was a case of a black man and a white woman. And we're naturally going to feel like, oh, our brother's being lynched. And sometimes mm -hmm. we do give our brothers the benefit of the doubt, even when they may not really deserve it, because we're so, uh, you know, used to a black man and a white woman. A black man always loses. If they go up against each other, the black man's going to lose. So we have right. to be extra protective. So please, white America, middle America, mainstream America, understand where our mentality comes from. It's from a historical standpoint of, hey, man, we used to seeing our brothers getting set up. But in this case, Jonathan, you are digging your own grave. Just shut up. Right. Just stop saying stuff like this. Like, I get what you're saying. Uh, and Flame, you laid that out beautifully. He wanted someone to hold his, hold him down even through all his BS that he knows he's guilty of. But like, it's honestly, I've dated a narcissist before. It's giving narcissistic, narcissistic abusive behavior where you put these super high standards on whoever's with you. Like, why can't you be more like this person? Why can't you be more like Curtis Scott? I'm looking for this. And then you try to, if you're a people pleaser, oh, oh, okay, did I, did I, did I do like Curtis Scott King? Can, can I serve my man? Can I help you? It gives abusive a relationship. I don't know him, Flame. You say you know him. I don't know Jonathan Majors. But tell your boy to stop. He should have maybe used some more. Uh, somebody. Look, gonna, I agree. Gonna, and let me tell you something, Flame. Let me tell you something, Flame. What we're not going to do is on this MLK Day, mm -hmm. support anybody that tells a white woman that she needs to be like Coretta Scott King. And then when he has no need for her, he's then going to tell a black woman that well, she needs to be like. Well, he kept the assimilation. That was his, I, I, his they, I don't care what that. <laughs> I don't care what that is. You're not going to do it today on Martin Luther King. We're not going to disrespect that family. And we're not going to put any rhyme to that crazy reasoning.
Oh, if you had felt them guns, you would have been you would have been a lot nicer, <laughs> Al. Because I touched them guns in Yellow Springs, baby. Oh, <laughs> Flame, your perspective is definitely appreciated. We appreciate oh, yeah. all perspectives here. I get it. Um, but Jonathan, I do have to agree with Alan on on Martin Luther King Day. You can do it on Tuesday. Yeah, do it on Tuesday. Maybe all the weekend. <laughs> okay. 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 I'm not going to do it on Martin Luther King Day. All right. Jonathan, oh, I'm so sick of talking about this weird face dude. Uh, Flame, can you tell Jonathan how to pose better for these? Look, I'm so sick of his look. Uh, okay, first of all, uh, Flame. Claudia, you got to see him in person. He's much more handsome in person. And, and, and his aura is so nice. I know he is gets. It? I'm telling you. Really? Are you, just, are you just staring at his muscles and his neck? No, 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 because I would have looked at something else if I was in that mood. But what I'm <laughs> saying is, he really is not, a, he's a, he's a, he's, I'm not going to, like, cl classically handsome. He's not classically handsome. But he was so, he smelled like a million dollars. Claudia, you and I talked about that. And he was mm -hmm. such a pleasant man, and he does have a nice face. I hate that he's caught up in all this BS, because as black entertainers and black artists, he can be discarded and not, and not brought back. Okay, I understand he may be, maybe he looks good in person, but can you just help? I'm gonna say this to be fair. Can you help him with his poses? The face, the, the pictures is always, look, sir, please <laughs> do it. I, I can't. Girl, that's so shady. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> Megan, don't, don't get her, Megan. Don't get her. Don't get her. I love Megan. Megan. <laughs> Guilty as charged. All right, Jonathan Majors replied to the backlash that he received and released the following statement. My intention was to convey my utmost respect for Coretta Scott King, her achievements in both her personal legacy and the one she shares with her husband, Dr. Martin Luther King. Okay, does this change anything? Let's go to you first, Flame. What are your thoughts? And, you know, I like that we actually have an opposing person here that actually knows him because none of us know him. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. I don't think you know him. So, I, Like I said before, I think that was the way he meant it. But, you know, I think it was misinterpreted. But I hear what Al was saying when he said, don't say it about a white woman. But hell, Hillary Clinton followed in Coretta Scott's King suit, if you ask me, because Coretta stayed quiet about all the so, alleged infidelity. Hillary stood by her man. It shows strength. It shows power. Women are loyal creatures. And I think that's what he meant in that capacity. I don't think he meant to compare them exactly who the same, because Coretta was a, 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 a beacon of light for the black community. Megan is just a babe, baby, because Megan is a beautiful sister, baby. I've seen it up close and personal. She is one of the sexiest and most beautiful women and kind, actually. And kind. Yeah, oh, my is. God, and kind. She has good vibes. Uh, Al, what do you think? Anything change with this uh, mm -mm. attempt to clean no. it up? <laughs> no. no. Al is stuck on it, baby. Well, what just, about tomorrow, Al? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow, not on MLK Day. We are not going to try to justify all of that disconnect with what this wonderful day means to the rest of us people in this black community and around the world. I'm no, I just can't do it today. And you know, Al will take up for a rich, muscular, successful black man. For, so for him to go against Jonathan, Jonathan Major today, he really feel a way about this yeah. MLK thing. So we gonna go ahead and move on.